The LGM-30 Minuteman is an American land-based intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, in service with the Air Force Global Strike Command. As of 2021, the LGM-30G Minuteman III version is the only land-based ICBM in service in the United States and represents the land leg of the U.S. nuclear triad, along with the Trident submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, and nuclear weapons carried by long-range strategic bombers. Development of the Minuteman began in the mid-1950s when basic research indicated that a solid-fuel rocket motor could stand ready to launch for long periods of time, in contrast to liquid-fueled rockets that required fueling before launch and so might be destroyed in a surprise attack. The missile was named for the colonial Minutemen of the American Revolutionary War, who could be ready to fight on short notice. The Minuteman entered service in 1962 as a deterrence weapon that could hit Soviet cities with a second strike and counter-value counterattack if the U.S was attacked. However, the development of the United States Navy, USN, UGM-27 Polaris, which addressed the same role, allowed the Air Force to modify the Minuteman, boosting its accuracy enough to attack hardened military targets, including Soviet missile silos. The Minuteman II entered service in 1965 with a host of upgrades to improve its accuracy and survivability in the face of an anti-ballistic missile, ABM, system the Soviets were known to be developing. In 1970, the Minuteman III became the first deployed ICBM with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRV, three smaller warheads that improved the missile's ability to strike targets defended by ABMs. They were initially armed with the W-62 warhead with a yield of 170 kilotons. By the 1970s, 1,000 Minuteman missiles were deployed. This force has shrunk to 400 Minuteman III missiles as of September 2017 deployed in missile silos around Malmstrom AFB, Montana, Minot AFB, North Dakota, and F.E. Warren AFB, Wyoming. Minuteman III will be progressively replaced by the new ground-based strategic deterrent, GBSD, ICBM beginning in 2030 to be built by Northrop Grumman. The LGM-30G Minuteman III program started in 1966 and included several improvements over the previous versions. Its first test launch took place on August 16, 1968. It was first deployed in 1970. Most modifications related to the final stage and re-entry system, RS. The final, third, stage was improved with a new fluid-injected motor, giving finer control than the previous four-nozzle system. Performance improvements realized in Minuteman 3 include increased flexibility in re-entry vehicle, RV, and penetration aids deployment, increased survivability after a nuclear attack, and increased payload capacity. The missile retains a gimbaled inertial navigation system. Minuteman 3 originally contained the following distinguishing features. Armed with up to three W62 Mk12 warheads, having a yield of only 170 kilotons TNT, instead of previous W56's yield of 1.2 megatons. It was the first multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRV missile. A single missile was then able to target three separate locations. This was an improvement from the Minuteman I and Minuteman II models, which were able to carry only one large warhead. An RS capable of deploying, in addition to the warheads, penetration aids such as chaff and decoys. Minuteman III introduced in the post-boost stage, BUS, an additional liquid fuel propulsion system rocket engine, PSRE, that is used to slightly adjust the trajectory. This enables it to dispense decoys or, with MIRV, dispense individual RVs to separate targets. For the PSRE it uses the bipropellant Rocketdyne RS-14 engine. The Hercules M57 third stage of Minuteman I and Minuteman II had thrust termination ports on the sides. These ports, when opened by detonation of shaped charges, reduced the chamber pressure so abruptly that the interior flame was blown out. This allowed a precisely timed termination of thrust for targeting accuracy. The larger Minuteman III third stage motor also has thrust termination ports although the final velocity is determined by PSRE. A fixed nozzle with a liquid injection thrust vector control TVC, system on the new third stage motor, similar to the second stage Minuteman II nozzle, additionally increased range. A flight computer, Autonetics D37D, with larger disk memory and enhanced capability. A Honeywell HDC701 flight computer which employed non-destructive readout, NDRO, plated wire memory instead of rotating magnetic disk for primary storage was developed as a backup for the D37D but was never adopted. The Guidance Replacement Program, GRP, initiated in 1993, replaced the disk-based D37D flight computer with a new one that uses radiation-resistant semiconductor RAM. 
The Minuteman 3 missiles used D-37D computers and completed the 1000 missile deployment of this system. The initial cost of these computers ranged from about $139,000, D-37C, to $250,000, D-17B. The existing Minuteman 3 missiles have been further improved over the decades in service, with more than $7 billion spent in the 2010s to upgrade the 450 missiles. The Minuteman 3 has a length of 59.9 feet, 18.3 meters, weighs 79,432 pounds, 36,030 kilograms, an operational range of 14,000 kilometers, 8,700 miles, and an accuracy of about 800 feet, 240 meters. In December 1979 the higher yield W78 warhead, 335 to 350 kilotons, began replacing a number of the W62S deployed on the Minuteman 3s. These were delivered in the Mark 12A re-entry vehicle. A small, unknown number of the previous Mark 12 RVs were retained operationally, however, to maintain a capability to attack more distant targets in the South Central Asian Republics of the USSR, the Mark 12 RV weighed slightly less than the Mark 12A. A request for proposal for development and maintenance of a ground-based strategic deterrent GBSD, next generation nuclear ICBM, was made by the US Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center ICBM Systems Directorate, GBSD Division on July 29, 2016. The GBSD would replace MAI in the land-based portion of the U.S. nuclear triad. The new missile to be phased in over a decade from the late 2020s are estimated over a 50-year life cycle to cost around $86 billion. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman were competing for the contract. On August 21, 2017, the U.S. Air Force awarded three-year development contracts to Boeing and Northrop Grumman for $349 million and $329 million, respectively. One of these companies will be selected to produce this ground-based nuclear ICBM in 2020. In 2027 the GBSD program is expected to enter service and remain active until 2075. On December 14, 2019, it was announced that Northrop Grumman had won the competition to build the future ICBM. Northrop won by default, as their bid was at the time the only bid left to be considered for the GBSD program. Boeing had dropped out of the bidding contest earlier in 2019. The U.S. Air Force said, the Air Force will proceed with an aggressive and effective sole source negotiation. In reference to Northrop's bid. For now, the Minuteman 3 is one of America's formidable response to Russia's nuclear threat. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.